So, दोस्तों फाइव डेज अगो आई वॉट दिस मैकबुक एयर फिफ्टीन इंच फ्रॉम एप्पल फिफ्थ एवेन्यू इट वॉज द मोस्ट आइकॉनिक फीलिंग इन द वर्ल्ड इट वॉज अ ड्रीम कम ट्रू गोइंग टू दैट एप्पल स्टोर इवन एट टू ए एम इन द मॉर्निंग एंड इट वॉज ब्राइट लाइट तो सीधा पॉइंट पे आते हैं आई हैव बिन यूजिंग मैकबुक एयर एम वन द फर्स्ट जनरेशन एप्पल सेलेकॉन चिप दैट एप्पल इंट्रोड्यूस्ड इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी आई रिव्यूड इट I reviewed it even after one year, after six months, after three months, and I continued using it for 1.5 years. Made more than 200 videos on that laptop, and after that, I chose to upgrade to M2 Pro MacBook Pro because I thought it will give me more power. And this is the result after one year. After using MacBook Pro, which is around 14 inch, and I honestly was saving. exactly 2 minutes every single day in terms of video editing whether a little bit of programming multitasking that is that is all and better speakers and similar webcam which i don't care about but that's all 2 minutes average a day that i saved with heavy video editing sometimes 4k sometimes 1080p and this difference was so low that i don't think it was worth in terms of money to buy this laptop it was worth it for me because i'm a pro user i got better speakers i i got a little bit bigger screen and one most important thing freedom to multitask as a computer science student most universities right now print that minimum 16 gb ram is needed the m1 air i got i got it the base variant with 8 gb ram so it was a struggle when i was multitasking with video editing videos playing teams call zoom call so whenever i had to do something on the gpu plus more apps running it was a struggle on m1 air and this solved that problem for me and that's why it was maybe worth it the easier option always would have been to kill multiple apps running in the background and then opening the apps that i need and it just prevents multitasking for example in m1 air i could not make thumbnail when video editing was happening in the background because it used to crash limited ram limited gpu power but this laptop made it possible to do video calls video editing android development everything along with heavy multitasking so that's why even if the difference is 2 minutes a day but that freedom was worth it for me but things slowly change as well this macbook doesn't crash for me but universities have changed their requirements that they need only 8 gb ram now georgia tech ke cs program has updated to 8 gb ram only and on top of that the market share of apple is the same but sales have gone down because people don't feel like upgrading m1 air 3 years old macbook is still enough for many students right now and that is the truth no one wants to update and now the 15 inch macbook air can change that now talking about m1 air 15 inch and after using it for 5 6 days i think this is actually losing that freedom for me downgrading from m1 pro because less ram once again it has 8 gigabytes of memory 8 gb ram and it is the base variant macbook air 15 inch and another big problem for any student watching here is weight so in terms of weight they are very very similar if it is 3.3 pounds this is 3.5 pounds 0.2 pounds uh, difference so when you are carrying your backpack in any city like walking to classroom with your heavy backpack especially when i am in new york city right now it is a struggle no matter which laptop you carrying so it is the same struggle but if i had bigger laptop heavier laptop it would have been bigger struggle and when i had m1 air it was the least struggle because that was still lighter and 13 inch so in terms of portability still i would choose m1 air because even though it is 2 years old 2 and a half years old still apple promises 5 years of upgrade and it is more value for your money so currently on amazon with my link in description you can get it for 800 dollars if you have gst number in india you can probably get it for 65000 rupees with my link in the description and 
even after two three years of your college if you try to sell it you will get more resale value but by the way a big news to share before anyone considering masters in the us there's a big opportunity for you without gre without gmat at university of arizona and that also with minimum opportunity cost so basically it is a two year hybrid program one year in india or wherever you are you can do it you can continue with work experience after your undergrad and then continue online first year and then second year you can come to us and do in person and total cost will be less than 50 lakh rupees and i personally think as well it is better to find a cheaper program with scholarship because the value of education in terms of college has reduced thanks to many online courses and i'm offering you free online courses in terms of machine learning as well as cloud on great learning platform if you apply for this program to study abroad it's a wonderful opportunity with basically minimum requirements and you can get enrolled right after your undergrad but there is one condition you can definitely try to get it with my link in description below but only 5 to 15 seats are available right now because it's getting filled up really fast because this hybrid program is very popular for students so do not miss it with my link in description below a secret batata hu that all macbooks can charge your iphone and you can use it as a power bank which is an amazing thing about pro kyunki pro ke saath you can charge your iphone almost twice and with air you can charge at least once another mac that i really want to show you all is this mac mini so this is can you guess if this is m1 m2 m2 pro 3 2 1 times over so this is actually intel chip 2018 only 700 dollar mac mini from Five years ago, so this is five years old Mac Mini. Still, it has updates. Still, it has the latest processor, only eight GB RAM. And guess what? On this Mac Mini, I can still run Xcode if you want to. For example, it's still running, and there's no air coming out of it. So this is Xcode. I always carry this portable monitor and this keyboard and this mouse. So this is for my office setup, and I am able to productively use it all day in terms of iOS development, Android development, everything is possible on this Mac Mini, which is five years old. So, if you're thinking of how performance, I think in 2023, performance is not a problem for many students. The bigger problem is the weight, size, bigger screen. Some some people prefer bigger screen over weight, so it's a trade-off. If your backpack is heavy, you will get bigger screen, but if your backpack is light, you will get smaller screen. But If you can do that trade off I think still the best value MacBook for you would be M1 Air now talking about details about this MacBook Air 15 inch it has maybe two more speakers so audio is coming from so speakers are right here audio is coming from here it is not a bass feeling like MacBook Pro but it's still decent audio better than the MacBook Air 13 inch but overall I personally think that still no matter how many times you ask me this is only 20% faster than the first generation Apple MacBook M1 Air Apple release so 20% faster performance would not change your life and this SSD speed biggest problem the SSD speed of the cheapest MacBook Air M2 is slower then m1 macbook air the first generation silicon chip that apple released 3 years ago so because of slower ssd speed in terms of reading so when i am importing heavy videos into final cut pro on this macbook i actually think that this macbook reads those video files slower as compared to macbook air first generation i think this macbook has crashed more often for me as compared to the first apple macbook m1 air i bought so no matter no matter how many times you ask me i will still say get the cheapest one right now and connect with the monitor it will give you the best package you need and if you are considering the mac mini no matter which mac mini you get i'm using 5 years old which is working fine perfect for me for my xcode and development usage but if you get still the m1 air do not because the resale value of 
Mac Mini is almost nothing. You will get it for $700, you will sell it for $200, $300. But if you get MacBook Air, you buy it for $700, you can still sell it for $400, $500. I bought it for $900 and I sold it for $750. It was a steel deal for me. So resale value and using for two, three years, the value you get out of it is better. And if, 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 considering, if considering this resale value as well, it won't be even $1,000 because people would prefer choosing the cheapest MacBook M1 Air over buying the second hand. So I think as a student, you should do best investment, which can give you more return on value and more return as a student as well. And you can check out the MacBook links in the description below. And thank you so much for watching.